this method we will be learning about the lifo method of stock valuation as the name itself suggest it is last in first out so as explained earlier the valuation of stock whatever method we choose for valuation of stock need not be same as the physical movement of stock okay for example here though the actual issues may be made out of the earliest lot on hand to prevent unnecessary deterioration in the value it is sometimes assumed that the issue is to be valued at the price which is paid for the latest consignment on the hand okay in the lifo method so what happens the closing stock then is assumed to consist of the earlier consignment okay so so i will give you an example say suppose uh, on 2nd jan there is a purchase of uh, some 500 units at the price of rupees 5 per unit okay per unit price and then on 4th jan there is again some purchases of 400 units at the rate of say rupees 3 per unit now there is some issue issue of goods on 5th jan let's say 300 units are to be issued so this 300 units which are to be issued should be valued at the latest consignment that is at rupees 3 per unit so the total issue value of issues will be 900 so the stock as on 5th jan will be 500 into 5 and out of this 400 300 are issued so 100 into 3 so this is 300 and this is 1500 so total stock is 1800 as per lifo method now lifo method is opposite of the fifo method that is first in first out method okay so although the physical quantity may be issued from this 500 units okay it's not necessary that physically stock is issued from this 400 units but for the purpose of valuing we are using the lifo method that is we are valuing the stock at the rate of latest consignment okay we are valuing the issues stock issued at the price of the latest consignment okay now we'll see one example on lifo method now this is a example which we are considering for the purpose of valuing stock as per lifo method this is same example which we had taken for the fifo method so for better understanding we have taken the same example a manufacturer has a following record of purchases of condensers which he uses while manufacturing radio sets so this is a stock of raw material since it is used for manufacturing radio sets then he has given the date quantity and price per units of all the purchases then subsequently issues were made as follows so details of issues are given these are issued for production so date and quantity so calculate the value of closing stock as per lifo method so let's begin okay statement showing valuation of stock as per lifo method so first transaction is on december 4 so on december 4 on december 4 okay what is the quantity quantity is 900 units at the price of 5 per unit are purchased so 900 unit at the price of 5 per unit okay then issues are nothing there are no issues so quantity of stock is 900 into 5 per unit that is 4500 now the next transaction the next transaction is date is december 5 okay so december 5 600 quantities are issued for the purpose of production so issues december 5 600 quantities are issued for the purpose of production so the latest there is only one purchases so latest stock value is 
rupees five per unit. So out of this nine hundred, six hundred are being issued for the purpose of production. So balance stock as on December five is three hundred into five. One thousand five hundred. Okay. Now the next December ten. Okay, December ten. Four hundred were purchased at the rate of five point five. December ten. So I'll put it here. December ten. Four hundred were purchased. At the rate of five point five zero, correct. So there are no issues on December ten. So stock as on December ten will be this carry forward. That is three hundred into five, one thousand five hundred, and this four hundred into five point five zero. So that comes to. Two thousand two hundred. So total stock is one thousand five hundred plus two thousand two hundred as on December ten. Now the date of next transaction. Next transaction date is December eleven. Three hundred purchases at five point five. So I'll put it here. December eleven. Three hundred purchases at the rate of five point five. There are no issues, so the stock will be three hundred into five. That is one thousand five hundred. Four hundred into five point five zero. That is two thousand two hundred, and three hundred into five point five. That is the latest purchase. So that comes to that comes to one six five zero. Okay, now the next transaction. Next transaction is on December twelve. There are issues of four hundred quantity. December twelve. Okay, so December twelve. There are no purchases. December twelve. Issues of how much? Four hundred. Correct. Now this four hundred will be as per LIFO method. So three hundred from here and hundred from here. That is how we will value this four hundred. So this four hundred will consist of three hundred at five point five and hundred at five point five, but from the earlier stock. So the value of closing stock will be three hundred into five. That is one thousand five hundred, and this out of four hundred, three hundred into five point five. That is one six five zero. Okay, so this is our value of stock as on December twelfth. Now the next transaction. Next transaction is on December nineteen. Two hundred purchase at the six per unit. So December nineteen. Two hundred at the rate of six. There is no issues on that date. So this stock will be carry forward. Three hundred into five. That is one thousand five hundred. Three hundred into five point five. That is one six five zero, and two hundred into six. That is one thousand two hundred. So this is a stock as on December nineteen. So the next one now. Next transaction is December twenty eight. Eight hundred purchase at four point seven five. So December twenty eight. So December twenty-eight, eight hundred at four point seven five. There are no issues. So this stock will be first carry forward at five rupees, one thousand five 
1500 300 into 5.5 that makes it 1650 1200 800 into 4.75 correct 800 into 4.75 that is 3800 okay now the next transaction next transaction is when it is on december 29 issue of 600 units okay now we'll see that issue of 600 unit on december 29 so on december 29 600 units are issued so in issues i'll write december 29 600 unit now this 600 since it's a lifo method the 600 units will be from the la latest consignment that is from this 800 so six value of issues will be 600 into 4.75 okay since it's a lifo method so let's see what is a stock as on december 29 300 into 5 1500 300 into 5.5 5, that is 1650 200 into 6 that is 1200 and out of this last consignment that is 800 which was purchased on December 28 600 have been issued so the value of stock will be 200 into 4.75 that comes to 950 so the total value of stock as on december 29 is 1500 plus 1650 plus 1200 plus 950 that comes to 5300 as per lifo method okay so this is how the stock is valued as per lifo method Thank you.